All right, you two. Um, have a plan. It's been a moment since I made a video. And, um, well, I've got an idea. And we're going to see how this goes. All right, guys. So this is the plan. If you'll follow me on Instagram, you'll know that I had some pretty good adventures uh, with a vacation I took. And I've caught some pretty cool fish. Uh, most that I could that I could have caught here, except the armored catfish, and I might still have the pictures. I might throw them in here. However. This is what my goal is for this uh, this trip that I have this weekend. I'm going to take one spinning rod and one bait casting rod. And on this bait casting rod, I'm going to tie on a quick changer, and I'll probably do the same thing on here. But what's going to be changed is is not that I'm oh, I'm only taking two rods. That's one big change. Um, but I'm also only going to use this bag with lures. I'm only going to take hard lures this time. That's the only thing. Uh, I'm going to probably maybe one or two top water, a couple of different styles and different things, and and you know what I can fit in this bag. That's what I'm going to take, and I'm going to actually put my my pliers, my grabbers, and my my my, my scale in there, and I'm going to go to a place that I've never been. So. Um, hang in there and I'm going to get this thing packed up and built and kind of show you what I have in it in just a moment. Alright guys, after um, really doing a lot of breaking down and a lot of I don't know how you would say consolidating to be able to get to that small pack, this is what I have. So, as you know, this is the pack I'm going to be bringing a little bit of uh, scent to squeeze on here here is a few top water and a swim bait, um, some bigger uh, baits here, and I also decided I wanted to bring a few smaller ones. As you can see here, I've got a couple of small ones that I'm going to have to throw on the spinning reel, and that there is the hardware I'm going to bring. All right. This ought to be fun, just hard baits, no plastic. A lot of people around me this morning. All right, I'm out here. Um, Kind of cheated a little bit this morning. There was a lot of people around me, so I didn't want to talk too much. But uh, um, today I'm kind of I'm gonna throw in only hard baits, top water, bottom, whatever. And uh, I'm using these clips just so I can have a little um, uh, quicker change for different baits once it gets a little warmer. I am on Oliver Lake this morning, or Lake Oliver, however you want to say it. It's a um, still part. It's further down south of the Chattahoochee where I 
I uh, fish West Point Lake. Not sure. I don't know a whole lot about it. A lot of houses. The uh, access. There's only one access that I've been able to find on this lake, and it's the one that I uh, docked on. I'll uh, I'll make a uh, show you what that is when we get ready to go in. I do have my Garmin running today. Uh, that's another plus. I haven't made a video in quite some time, so that alone, I'm, I'm just happy to be out here fishing. I have been fishing, but I haven't been making videos, so this will be my first video in a long time. What did they, what did they say? It'll be my first video in a hot minute. Directly outside of this slough is a, uh, is a dam, so I'm going to uh, kind of stay. They're just some two large, large flues in this area. These are big sort well, inlets. I hopefully I can show you a picture of one here. And, uh, but I hadn't made a video in so long. I really wanted to get a video out. I don't want y'all to think my channel is not still live. It's just slow. A lot of life changes I'll talk about in another video. But it looks like for everybody. When the sun comes up, I've got my hat. <laughs> Picked up this hat in um, Florida. We went fishing down there. Family vacation. We went real deep south Florida. We went down near Venice Beach. That was a lot of fun. Only brought two rods today. Um, I brought a spinning rod to soak some just a few smaller baits. And I got my um, my loose speed spool, which uh, I kind of enjoy it, actually. Cast is almost as good as my... Bass Pro Shop tournament one. Let's try something that makes a little more noise. And hey, something I can steady retrieve for a few minutes and let them arm rest. Oh, and if I didn't get the other video out, the only thing I'm fishing with is what can be held in this little case here. They're all going to be hard baits because uh, that's what the challenge was was just hard baits only so nothing I have in here is it's only hard bait this cool little guy right here I found at Walmart for like two bucks it's the uh, it's a true walker plopper it was on sale I just never seen one that was chubby like that but I liked it. Never fished it before, so let's see. There's one. Oh, that's a nice one. Oh, that's a nice one. Boy, he inhaled it, too. Come here, big boy. Come here. Oh, I'm gonna lose him. I'm gonna lose him. Get in the boat. Oh, yes. Nice fish. Nice fish. Look at that guy right there. Oh, yeah. He's gonna go through my thumb. All right, let's see. That was a nice fish. Nice fish. I don't know why he's he's bleeding because you saw me hook him in the lips. But let's get a see if we can get a quick weight on this guy and let him go. Oh, he's at least two pounds. All right, zero it out. Let's see what we got here. Two point five. Two point five. Very nice fish. Very nice. All right. Let's let big boy go. All right, 
number one started about 6 45 at 7 30 not too bad of a start not too bad of a start all right and my little two dollar whopper plopper baby all right folks after that catch there things slowed down tremendously um i throwed quite a bit of different lures uh more top more um lipless uh through lip crankbaits i threw swim baits i threw a lot of different things i covered a lot of water um, i just didn't catch any more fish I had a couple of more bites i'll show you right here in just a few minutes um the real final ending part of it and you'll see that um, i had a couple of more bites on the uh, whopper plopper once i've changed my area a little bit but i'm going to go back to this area and do another challenge with just soft plastics and we'll see how it goes from there i mean there's all kind of birds out there, there and they're all standing so that's a uh, pretty solid ground That was a hit. I missed him. He didn't come back for it either. Oh, that was another little tap. That felt more like a sunfish. That was awesome. I come out and explored a new lake. Uh, been able to do some fishing. Um, tested out just hard lures. Um, pretty good. Pretty good. Missed a few. Uh, I got one nice one this morning. One nice largemouth. And then uh, a lot of bites around the edge, but nothing really after that. Sorry it took so long to get another video out, but. Hopefully this one, this one at least has one good bite and a couple of my other blow-ups, and and maybe that'll be a pretty good thing to watch. But uh, until next time, guys, keep your hooks wet and have fun. This is West Point Lake Willie telling you, I'm out of here.